Trouble, front stretch. One going up in smoke. Into the wall hard. Jeff Green. Oh, that's a hard lick for Jeff. Yeah, I'm fine. Hell, I thought I had him for Gabe Brown. Well, that's good to hear. Yeah, I'm fine. Another car right here. Jeff on the inside in the trioval. Looks like he's not quite clear. Oh, yeah. man. Okay. Yeah, your car tends through there, wants to go out towards the wall anyway, but like Jeff thought that uh, he had enough of a run to, to clear there. Trying to clear Ken Butler in the uh, 24 car, and that is the result. And so the caution is out. And fortunately, you've heard Jeff report that he's okay. I think that secondary hit that did all the damage on you know, that other part of the trioval wall. You can see this, Kevin Harvick sees this happen right in front of him. There comes Colin Brown on the outside, trying to take over second from Kyle Busch. Oh! oh Kyle Busch in front of it, but it's the six of Colin Brown that got turned around and hard into the inside wall. Was straight into that inside wall. Wow, Just in front of this truck was the 51 of yeah, Kyle Busch. The turn. Colin gets right up on the back of Terry Cook, hits him, and then bam! Brian Scott hits Cook, or excuse me, hits uh, Brown in the back and sends him to the inside yes, wall. Just straight. Mm. Look at that safer barrier. Thank goodness for that safer barrier on the inside wall on the back stretch. Down. You see Terry wiggling there. He looks like he got a little bit loose and then seized up just a little bit. Brian Scott really you can't not fault him. He mm. just ran, just touched the back of the six of Colin Brown, turned him around. Hard contact in the inside wall. Morgan Shepard is up on the top and contact between the two and Morgan is hard into the wall. Oh, that's too bad. Wow. Hard in the wall. Stay up there, Morgan. Hmm. Okay, I hope everybody else goes above him now. Well, he was fortunate he didn't get hit as he stepped back down. There we see Jeff Gordon trying to make the pass on the inside to get down the corner. Morgan comes down. Mm. And we see the contact and bam. Well, he did hit it hard. There we see another angle. You know, Morgan Shepard was just trying his best. He knew that this was his chance, Ned. A moment ago involving uh, the 41 and 24 out of the corner. See, it looked like Dale Jr. got underneath Eric McClure in that 24 car. Whoa, wow. big, big crash. Junior just looking for some room around these guys. Man, look at the debris flying off these cars. Wow. Fix that 24 completely up off the ground. That's the Lysol Ford. Three wide into turn three. There's Kevin LePay. There's Skinner down on the bottom of the racetrack in the 19 car. Job. Mark Martin in the crash. Right here. Here's Phil Parsons down on the inside. Gets a little bit of a nudge from right there behind him. From he goes back up the racetrack, pins Landon Amick, and as you see, he's the racetrack, these guys are already running three or four wide. They're out in the grass. It's a trial. As they come through the grass, it's Bodine, and right behind him was Skinner. Parsons up into Amick, and then everything, no one. Here's Parsons trying to keep it out. Amick comes across. There's contact with the five and the twenty-two. And look at the cars running into each other in the grass. And when they run into each other in the grass, the racetrack comes back up on them because it's a trial. So they come back across, and they all end up past the start-finish line, all in a pile right down here. There's Mark Martin backwards down there in the 60 car. He loops it around. That's very reminiscent of what happened here. Oh, oh around trouble. goes Hamlin. Oh, and no. right in front of Boyer, and into the wall hard goes McMurray and Jeff Gordon. Not again. Chess car is destroyed. Well, he, look at Harvick. He's struggling right there, and then here comes Hamlin. He just spins out. No, watch this. Here comes Jeff Gordon coming, coming, coming. Bam. He had almost it, had, had it missed. It, almost had it made. Jamie McMurray got him. He sets his sights on the 30, but the 30 has checked out. Spin, oh, he's got to spin behind him. As they spin, it is going to be Todd Bodine going across the start finish line, winning in 2006. They crashed behind them. You are the man! 
jump out of John Wood, and he just loses his truck. What a great run he was having, but he spins out, and watch what happens. Jack Sprague on new tires is charging, and he just got hung in the side and right into the wall. He goes, and, and they just keep wrecking, Phil. Yeah, there's a 08 Bobby Hamilton Jr. He gets, there's Ron Hornaday, bottom of your screen, got turned around by Rick Crawford. Here comes the 59 of Steve Park. He makes contact. Happen. Let's take a look here. Moving up the racetrack on the outside of the 25. 47 loses it, comes back around and takes out the 66 car. It's just uh, it's a classic case of getting arrow loose again. We've talked about it time after time. And uh, just a racing accident. C yeah. just moves up, moves up to 47, loses his aerodynamic downforce. Spins, catches it back, takes the 66 out. Unbelievable. Two of the talented young drivers, up and coming drivers here in the NASCAR Bush Series. The 47 is the third generation member of the Wood Brothers family, 25 year old John Wood, and of course, a second generation Wallace. Into the wall in turn three. It's Rick Crawford right there. Golly. And a the couple whole more front more end off of that, number 14. A couple more trucks on the back. Tina end. Gordon. That's a bad in crash. 13. Yeah. So our first caution comes out at lap 45. Rick Crawford sliding into the infield. His throttle's home. Throttle's home. You'll see Tina Gordon get sideways exiting the corner. Does a nice job of not spinning out, but just can't ever control the truck, Phil. Never can catch up to it. Now she's now she's got the brakes locked up to try to stop that truck, but she stops in the middle of the racetrack. Here comes Rick Crawford right behind Dennis Setzer in the 46 truck. Could not see her, never saw her. Clipped her, turned her in front of Hank Parker Jr., who made severe contact on the inside, and it kind of slid down to the inside wall. And, and Hank would have missed her had Rick not have hit her, but Rick hit her, bounced her over in front of Hank, and then Hank just took a terrible shot head on right into the left front corner of Tina's truck. You can see it there. Oh, whoa. And you could hear it, too. Uh, we take this action over as we see it from our camera position high in the grandstand and look at the impact here as it hits great rubber tires protecting the end of the pit wall. Richmond up against the wall. Yep. Richmond up against the wall, car number 99. The car of Dave Marcus goes upside down. Remember, these are over 3,000 pound vehicles that you're seeing tossing themselves in the air here as if they were just lightweight toys. The wall is missed there, just missed by Tim Richmond. The car stays upright and look at the size of that great earth mover tire where it was moved right out of position by the vehicle of Dave Marcus. Dave Marcus seems to be okay. We'll take a look here. Oh, there it is. The top of your screen. There it is. He did hit that wall hard. Then yes, again. And then he comes down off the track and he probably going to hit it again. again. He's going to hit it again. He has no brakes. Wow. wow. There's three times and he hasn't hit the inside wall yet. And look at all the debris that's flying off. And from another camera, there's another blow. And now he's going to go across the grass. And we're going to see Jimmy Spencer's car sit in there. See all that water. And just in front of Spencer's car and in the inside wall. Wow. And when I said these people scattered and I don't believe there was any injury to those people, that does not mean that perhaps Steve Park has not suffered some kind of an injury because he is still in the car. Here's the contact with the wall and he had that for a ton too. He sure did. He had four hard licks. Wow. We'll talk an exciting moment down here in the 20 pit stall, but it looks as right now, caution on the track. 05 spins. Whoa, hard impact in the outside wall. A 05 of Brett Ow. Rowe. Oh, his Chevy hits a ton. That was a hard lick. Looked like it was just going to be a spin and then he caught the outside wall. Pretty good clip. See, his right rear was in that seam that we were talking yep. about earlier. And a lot of times you get that in there, you just don't have the grip. You're trying to accelerate. Now, if he'll just lock her down, just right like there. That, Dick Beatty used to tell, tell the drivers he wouldn't have hit this wall. He just... Yep. So he was in the gas yep. like he was trying to keep the car yep. spun around, and he got the wheels going the wrong way. Yep. Created a hard impact, as you said, in the outside wall. Learned a good lesson. If he just locked it down, he wouldn't hit anything. And which way will Christopher Bell go? Oh. Big crash, heavy hit for Crafton. Caution is out. Suarez and Crafton both battling for the lead, and they are torn up. See Suarez on the outside. Watch Christopher Bell. Watch that four truck right side of your screen. Is he going to make a little contact? He does with Suarez. 
So Bell gets into the back end of his own teammate, Daniel Suarez, and that's what knocks Suarez into the 88 of Matt Crafton. And there we go. No. Steve that horrible crash. And fire on the racetrack. It's not the gas tank out of the 41 car. That's what we see. The car. Here's the uh, Pennzoil copter cam shot. And, and there we the see camera. Grissom. There we see the gasoline. Look at all that gasoline when the ignites when he hits the wall and there we see Mike Wallace go through ignite the gasoline Wow apparently there's no serious injury I mean, is that unbelievable? It, it just 